I'd like to call to order this regular council meeting in the town of Saugeen Shores. And uh, the first order of business is, again, a declaration of pecuniary interest and a reminder to remember of your responsibility. And there we have no additions, deletions, or amendments to the agenda. And the next item then is adoption of minutes. And it's been moved by Vice Deputy Mayor Huber, seconded by Councillor Dave Mayette, that council adopts the minutes of the council meeting of June 8th, 2018, as presented. The heirs are omissions. All in favor? That's carried. Make Next item is the Committee of the Whole Minutes of June, January the 8th, 2018. It's been moved by Deputy Mayor Charbonneau, seconded by Councilor Rich. The Council note and file the minutes of the Committee of the Whole Meeting of January the 8th, 2018 as presented. Any errors, omissions, questions? All in favor? Next item on the agenda is a general government report of the 8th of January, and it's been moved by Councilor Rich, seconded by Councilor Madison. The Council of the Town of Saugeen Shores adopts a general government report dated January the 8th, 2018, recommending that Council receives the Economic Development Strategic Plan as presented by Aileen Murphy of Meller, Murph, Murray, sorry, Aileen Murray of Meller Murray Consulting, Gaudette and Associates, 360 Bespoke Consul Consulting. Wow. Any questions on that other than my pronunciations there? If not, then all in favor? <laughs> That's carried. The next item is this motion. It's a motion this evening for uh, Unifor Wind Turbine. Motors is, it's under mo motions or notice of motion. And it's been moved by Councillor Dave Mayat and seconded by Councillor Rich. Whereas residents in the vicinity of the CAW Unifor Wind Turbine continue to be subject to day and nighttime noise, and whereas these noise limits have resulted in close to 500 noise and adverse health complaints from over 20 families, and whereas it is evident that the semi-urban classification for the CAW Unifor Wind Turbine has no rural classification night noise limit, despite describing the area as rural from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., said rule limit intending to protect residents, families, and sleep times, thus out of respect for neighboring residents of the Ministry of MOECC, should dictate at, at minimum that a maximum of 40 dB rule noise limit be put into effect from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I think that's probably wrong. It should be said the other way around, isn't it? Oh, well, I think I can make that. I can make that nose up here. If that's probably incorrect, that should be switched. Right, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Is that correct? Okay. And where is the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change in revamping the regulations made changes that would prevent the approval of a CAW turbine if applied for today, based on the combination of power output and no safety setback distances to homes? And whereas the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change failure to regulate, namely re relating to the fact that upon the granting of approval for the CAW wind turbine, then approvals director Doris Dumas wrote to the town of Saugeen Shores and to our residents that as a condition of her approval, the proponent would undertake noise level auditing with the proponent committing to scheduled monitoring performed over the first two years of wind turbine operation. And whereas this testing was not carried out due to the MOECC's choice to make this testing voluntary versus mandatory, and whereas the lack of mandatory testing for noise compliance has resulted in an almost five years of re resident suffering after unanswered noise and health complaints, excuse me, and whereas the MOECC has chosen not to regulate indirect health effects, namely inaudible noise called infrasound, infrasound the symptoms of which are dizziness, vertigo, tinnitus, headache, and nausea, all of which can have been reported to the MOECC by residents who have been affected by the CAW wind turbine. <coughs> Excuse me. And whereas the town of Saugeen Shores, in consultation with Unifor officials, proceed to hire, proceeded to hire an acoustic engineer, and whereas the town of Saugeen Shores has had to resort to filing a freedom of information request with the MOECC to obtain testing data. Now there, now hereby be it resolved that the Council supports inviting MOECC Manager Rick Chappell to a future Saugeen Shores Council meeting to, 
to allow Council the opportunity to present concerns of residents who are affected by nighttime urban noise and indirect health effects and to permit Council to hear firsthand the MOECC's position in regard to regulating or that lack thereof. Comments? Councillor Dave Maya. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and, and through you, and once again, thank you for reading that uh, rather wordy motion, but uh, it, it was very well written, and I wish that I could take a credit for that, but uh, I, I cannot. It was written by uh, or, or uh, Councillor Mike Myatt, but it very accurately and very conclusively encapsulates the frustration that everybody involved in this situation has been feeling since 2013 in the lack of action by all of the regulatory bodies and the proponents and the participants and the and the frustration that's being felt as we heard in the earlier deputation and committee of the whole uh, this this is a very frustrating situation and and uh, and it's it's been a shuffling of, of issues and it is hopeful that through this motion we can actually have the person that is in charge of enforcement in this area from the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, Manager Rick Chappell, to come here and explain to this council and to the citizens of Saugeen Shores exactly why the actions that have been promised have been failed to be uh, applied and completed and, and why we continue to have people suffering on a daily basis. Thank you. Any further comments? All in favor of the recommendation? Opposed to many. That's carried. So, the next item are bylaws. We have five this evening, and the first one is the zoning amendment for Hartwick, 246 Saugeen Beach Road, and it's been moved by Councillor Matheson, seconded by Councillor Rich. The bylaw 8 2018, being a bylaw to amend zoning bylaw number 75 2006, being the comprehensive zoning bylaw for the town of Saugeen Shores by Terry and Susan Hartwick for lands described as lot 6 and part lots 7 and 8, plan 363, part lot 28, Lake Range, and parts 1 and 2, reference plan 3R 9114, town of Saugeen Shores. Is here but read a first, second, and third time, and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. Questions, comments, the motion or bylaw? All in favor? It's carried. Next item is the zoning amendment for Snowbland for 3933 Bruce Road 3, and it's been moved by Councillor Rich, seconded by Councillor Madison, that bylaw 9 2018, being a bylaw to amend zoning bylaw number 75 2000 and six being the comprehensive zoning bylaw for the town of Saugeen Shores by Wanda May Snowblin for lands described as range AWSR lot 11. Town of Saugeen Shores is hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. Questions or comments? All in favor? That's carried. The next item is a zoning bylaw amendment for Barry's construction for 526 Ivings Drive. And it's been moved by Councillor Rich, seconded by Deputy Mayor Charbonneau. That bylaw 10 2018, being a bylaw to amend zoning bylaw number 75 2006, being the comprehensive zoning bylaw for the town of Saugeen Shores by Barry's construction and installation limited for lands described as part lots 33 to 37 Lake Range. Town of Saugeen Shores is hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. Any questions or comments? The motion or bylaw? All in favor? Most of any, that's carried. The next item is a bylaw for a zoning amendment for Moss for 533 Bricker Street, and it's been moved by Vice Deputy Mayor Huber, seconded by Councillor Dave Mayat, that bylaw 11 2018, being a bylaw to amend the zoning bylaw number 75 2006, being the comprehensive zoning bylaw for the town of Saugeen Shores by Moss Fam Rentals, for lands described as lots 1 and 2, block 15, plan 159, town of Saugeen Shores, is here. We're at our first, second, and third time, and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. Questions? Comments? All question? Oh, no, sir. All in favor? That's carried. Uh, and the next bylaw then is an authorizing a pre-servicing agreement with Red Hawk Construction Limited, and it's been moved by Councillor Minaj, 
Seconded by Vice Deputy Mayor Huber that bylaw 12 2017 being a bylaw to authorize a pre servicing agreement with Red Hawk Construction Limited is hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. Any questions, comments? All in favor? That's carried. The next item on the agenda is a confirmatory bylaw. It's been moved by Councillor Dave Mayat, seconded by Councillor Neil Minaj, that bylaw 13 2008 being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Council of the Town of Saugeen Shores. It's hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 29th day of January 2018. All in favour? That's carried. And it's been moved by Councillor Minaj, second by Councillor Dave Mayette, that this regular council meeting of January 29th, 2018, hereby adjourned at 9 12 p.m. All in favour? Adjourned.